I got this interesting contract from a resale store, one of the Habitat for Humanity thrift stores. And this was only $1.99, so I guess this had to be subsidized somewhere uh, on the way. But it's an interesting little contraption with five outlets. One of them is called Control Outlet. It's this one right here. And these are the switched outlets. So whatever you plug in here, if the power of this load exceeds 10 watts, it will turn on these two outlets. These stay on all the time. If and I have plugged in this receiver here, and the receiver currently takes 67 and a half watts. If, and this is plugged into the control outlet. Now on the switch outlet, I have a little LED lamp, so we can see the reaction when I turn it off. Now when I hit off button, you can see that the power drops down to 0.5 watts. If, and the light stays on for a little bit, about 8 seconds, and then it will turn off. So it's a little bit of delay. Now it's off. Now if I turn it on, the light will go immediately on. If The idea is to plug in one item here, you turn it on and off, and that will control whatever other outlets, whatever other appliances you need to have turned on and off. A printer, or some Blu-ray Blu player, or monitor, or any other uh, item. Uh, so I'm going to take it apart and just take a look what's inside. You may find it interesting that the power strip alone, with nothing plugged in, consumes 0.7 watts. Now if I turn off that switch here, it will go to zero. So the switch actually disconnects all the electronics, all the electronic circuitry. Turn it on, there's your 0.7 watts consumption. Now in order to open the case, you need Phillips 2 with a thin shaft. These holes are, uh, let's just measure them up and see what these are. And these are 5.55 millimeter in diameter. Now typical screwdriver will have a little more like this one has 6.3 so I couldn't use the screwdriver to open it up if let me take it apart and we'll continue to see what's inside if you look at the box this is rated 15 amps so I guess this is the maximum rating for the relay it comes apart easily and this is what's inside. There's a little bit of electronics here, and a couple of chips, and a few SMD elements, transistors, diodes. And there is a relay on the other side, so I'm going to unscrew the board, and we'll take a look at the other side. There are some items that are kind of interesting. This is the 24 volts DC relay, rated at 15 amps. 125 volts. This is the close-up of the chips. There's one right here, and this one is listed as power meter. And the other one I couldn't find any information on, but it's probably a dual operational amplifier. Next to it there is a capacitor, and behind the capacitor there is a shunt resistor, this one right here. I'm going to measure its value. I have an ESR meter that is good for measuring very low uh, resistors. I'm using here the Bob Parker, Australian inventor, ESR meter, and this is actually a clone that I bought on eBay uh, for 40 42 dollars or something pretty cheap uh, it's excellent though for measuring low resistances and this shunt resistor measures one hundredth of an ohm uh, so I'm kind of impressed with the circuitry I'm impressed with the uh, simplicity with sophistication of the whole thing and I'm going to use it for uh, something else but I really like 
a deconstruction of it, and I'm sharing it with you. Now, this switch is actually a thermal circuit breaker, so there is a little more sophistication that than meets the eye. Uh, and of course, this is over uh, voltage uh, protection here, uh, and the whole thing looks looks pretty good for the price I paid for. This is the circuit breaker. It's got the rating of 15 amps, either 125 or 250 volts AC. So this is it. If, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please post them below. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.